And we're back, back to what we would consider normal for this time of year, that is. In this video, we're going to go over the single family and condo markets in the state of Massachusetts. And we're also going to do a quick interest rate update. And we'll also talk about some relevant current events. Hi, my name is Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker, turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to real estate, then know I'm here to help. Another weekend and another precursor to what's to come. One of our buyers submitted an offer this weekend. And if you guessed that it was a multiple offer situation, then ding, 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 you were right. There were five offers on this one. Now, my clients are getting to do a home inspection, but there was a $5,000 home inspection threshold for any issues. They put in $15,000 in appraisal gap coverage and obviously went well over the asking price. And now what we can come to a conclusion was that last week was an outlier week for inventory and that, well, it's back to the downward trend. We are really starting to get a picture of the 2024 year. Here's my best analogy, which should hit home this time of year. The sellers had a great, big, awesome party, having a great time. And that was essentially the time leading up to the first half of 2022. Second half of 2022 was the winding down. 2023 was the hangover. And now it seems like we just put a little hair on the dog and are about to ramp up all over again. And time will tell exactly how big of a rager this party is going to be in 2024. By the way, if you're an investor who's looking for off-market houses, then reach out. I'd love to hear where your buy boxes are. We get off-market opportunities each and every single day. And I just love to play a little game of matchmaking. And just as a heads up, these off-market opportunities, the cash or hard money only investments, no conventional financing a lot. But now let's jump into the single family market stats. Like I said earlier, we're back. Back to the big weekly inventory fall drawdowns. There are now 3,799 single family houses on the market in the state of Massachusetts. This means that there were 18.4% fewer houses on the market today than just 28 days ago. So inventory fell by 269 units last week. Now, the last time inventory was this low was back on Labor Day weekend, the beginning of September. But be prepared, as historically speaking, we see inventory levels drop till sometime around February. I say about because it really is weather dependent. Lots of snow means that the spring market is going to be pushed out further into the spring. Now, this graph does a great job showing how last week was an outlier and that the leveling off of inventory levels was a one off. Now, we're back to some hefty inventory decreasing numbers. Buyers today have 875 more houses to look at when compared to the same time in 2021. 438 fewer houses when compared to the same time in 2022. What's crazy is the 875 unit 2021 comparison had a big week over week move. As buyers had 983 more single family houses to look at just last week when compared to 2022, that number actually grew slightly to 438 units compared to last week's 423 units. Now, new listing activity continues to go toe to toe for 2022. There were 513 single family houses that came on the market this week. Now, this was 14 or 2.8% more units than the same week last year, with 499 single family properties came on the market. As a comparison, last week we listed 11 more houses than uh, last week, last year. There we go in 2022. Like I said, it, it's been toe to toe for a bunch of weeks now. Now, that four week rolling average is 600 units. But as we've mentioned before, from now until the end of the year, we won't really be worried about these four week rolling averages as the market continues. The seasonal slowdown. Now, under agreements, they bounce back this week. We had 690 homes go under agreement, which is 1.3% more than the same week last year when 681 single family houses went under agreement. Now, this was a big move. As we've talked about, we've been in that negative 10 to 15% range for sales levels while compared to last year for about the last three months or so. But this week, we actually put more houses under agreement. That's the first time that that has happened since back at the end of April of this year. In other words, I think the data is saying that this is the boost under agreement activity for interest rates hitting four month lows. Now, 2024 home buyers, please take note. The four week rolling average is 679 units. So we were below the four week rolling average for under agreements as well. So when compared to last year's market, new listings were up by 2.8% while under agreements they were up by 1.3%. There were 526 single family homes that closed last week for an average sales price of $733,000 and a median sales price of $570,000. Sales levels compared to the same week last year were down by 16.6% as there were 631 single family houses that sold last year for an average sales price of 655 grand. Now months of inventory, this is how we determine what type of market we're in zero to five months. Well, that's considered a seller's market with the closer you get to zero, 
the more aggressive and stronger of a seller's market that it is. Now, this week, lots of inventory actually ticked down quite a bit to 1.4 months from last week's 1.57 months. The 1.41 months is compared to the 1.29 months this week last year. Real quick, it's my shameless plug. You knew it was coming. I just wanted to mention that if you are thinking about buying or selling a home, then it would be a true pleasure to help. Now, onto the condo market. The drawdown in the condo market is back as well. We have 2,192 condos on the market as of Monday. Now, this is a 129 unit decrease from last week. Currently, there are 16.6% fewer condos on the market than the same time 28 days ago. In the weeks past, we've talked about how the condo inventory levels were just threading the needle between 2021 and 2022. And at this point, it's pretty much just well, tracing the line from 2022. We now have 226 more condos on the market today than at the same time in 2021, and only 17 fewer condos for buyers to look at when compared to the 2022 inventory levels. Now, a little uptick in new condo listings. There were 255 condos that came on the market with a four-week rolling average of 260 condos. We listed 22 or 9.4% more condos this week than the same week last year when 233 condos came on the market. No little short when it comes to under agreements, though. This week, we put 283 units under agreement. Now, this 283 units was seven units or 2.4% shy of last year's numbers when we put 290 condos under agreement. Now, that four-week rolling average was 268 units. Again, don't get too obsessed with that. So 9.4% more listings that came on the market when compared to this week last year while selling 2.4% fewer condos. There are 212 condos that sold this week for an average sales price of 726 grand and a median sales price of $559,000. Now, this week last year, there were 225 condos that sold. So sales levels were down by 5.8%. Months of inventory had a big drop to 1.99 months from last week's 2.2 months. This is compared to the months of inventory levels of this week last year, which was 1.8 months. Any chance you can just do me a huge favor? Can you hit that like button right down there? Believe it or not, just plays with the YouTube algorithm. It makes an enormous difference to the channel as well as me. I truly appreciate it. And while subscribing, that one doesn't hurt either. So please consider subscribing. Time to talk about interest rates. Pretty much no movement this week. I consider, well, that a victory. Rates are at three to four month lows. Buyers are coming back into the marketplace. Anything lower might not be great at this point for a tight inventory market like we have right now. And the CPI data came out today. It came right in line with what was forecasted at 0.3% for the month of November. And it's most likely going to fall some more. At least that's what the N2 money supply data is hinting at. This would give the Fed some room to cut rates in uh, 2024. Now, the more these rates go down, then the hotter the market will get. The hotter this market gets and the more pricing will jump with buyers getting worse terms, like not being able to do home inspections and having a never-ending search for a house where you put 10 or 15 offers in on one until you finally get it. Now is the time to buy. Last week, I talked about how all the ingredients for the hot 2024 market were being lined up and we we're pretty much getting ready to bake that cake. Well, time is ticking as we are in the oven preheating stage right now. I put out two videos this week that I really think are worth a watch. Now, the first one is, is it inflation or appreciation? It's actually one of the most popular videos I've ever done. So thank you to all those that have watched it. But I followed it up with a video on who or what is to blame for high real estate prices. It's probably not what you think. That one is also worth a watch. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs? Well, whether you're looking to buy in the next nine or 90 days, then it doesn't matter. I would love to chat with you and just find out more about your real estate goals. And if you're thinking about possibly selling, then we can actually help you traditionally or even offer you a cash offer on your house for a seamless and stress-free sales process. No matter what your situation is, then we can help you get it done. Also, should you know of anyone that's thinking about buying or selling a home, then I truly appreciate you passing along my information. Any questions or comments about any of this market data, then drop them in the comment lines uh, below. You can also visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com and fill in your information, and then we'll reach out to you. Until next time.